And I welcome to YesNetwork.com, where you can get exclusive content all season long from This Week in Football, presented by Geico. It's just me and Howard Cross this week. It's the rest of the panel down in South Florida. So as we get ready, Super Bowl 44, we got the teams, we got all the analysis in the bank. What do you think is going to happen on Sunday? Who do you got? Well, I'm very surprised that you really actually could figure out the you know Roman numerals to get it to 44 first off. Yes. But outside it of took, that. It took a day or two, but I figured it out. No, what I think is going to happen is going to be a great game. I think it's going to be very exciting. Could be a lot of offense in the game. But what I look for is for the team that can actually figure out how to hold on to the ball. We saw what happened against the Saints and the Vikings. A lot of fumbles, a lot of mistakes. I don't see the Colts doing that. They're a more polished team. That's a problem for the Saints because they're not just going to give the ball away. Peyton Manning being able to diagnose what the defense is going to happen, what Greg Williams is going to do, that's going to be another problem for the Saints. I think on the other side of the ball, you know, Saints, they have the you know, potential to score a lot of points quickly. If they can find a way to do that and get the ball up and down the field, they have a chance. Now, the one thing that jumps out to me as far as this game is concerned is that, you know, you take a look at the teams the Colts have played in the playoffs. They've played the Ravens and they've played the Jets. Not exactly blockbuster offenses. This time around, they do get a, a, an offense that not only can match them, but probably even do better than them as far as putting up points in bunches. Do you, do you see that as a concern, considering they haven't really had to be pushed by another offense in this postseason? Well, what you saw, actually, in, in the playoffs, you actually saw two great defenses play mm -hmm. against them. Well, the two top-rated defenses kind of playing against them, and he had to figure out ways to beat those defenses. Now you look at a team that, you know, the defense is okay, but it's not great. They don't really have, you know, a big-time pass rusher, so to speak. So now it's paid Manning back there basically going through seven on seven. And if he's got, a, you know, got time to do that, he can slice and dice. He's like a, you know, a, a slice of matic It's going to be great to watch him you know, play this game. Well, quarterbacks, obviously a lot of the focus this week as we talk about this Super Bowl, Peyton Manning and, of course, uh, Drew Brees as well. Who has the edge as far as this matchup is concerned? Well, if you would think about how many weapons they have, you know, it would be Drew Brees, definitely. He has a lot more people to throw the ball to. He can get it around a lot. If you think about just the experience and a guy who kind of has control of – it seems like the entire element. Coach on the field. Coach on the field is going to be Peyton Manning because he's got, he's got a few weapons there, not as many as Drew, but he seems to be able to use them and diagnose what's going on you know, quicker. Now, we, I've been burying the lead here. Obviously, the big story this week has been Dwight Freeney, the ankle injury. You don't think he's going to be a factor on Sunday even if he plays? Well, you know, the, the, the one thing you can say about the whole Dwight Freeney thing, I mean, I, you've seen a lot of clips of him. The way they show him walking in to the facility, he's walking in the flip-flops. Now, if he was, like, super injured, he would not be in flip-flops. Right. So that's going to be a question is, like, how injured is he really when it comes down to it? He might play. Is he going to be effective? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, he's a good player, but I don't think he's going to be effective in this game. So how does that change the Colts game plan? Do they now go away from what they usually do, just blitzing the four guys and not all these crazy blitzes? Or do they have to make up for that lack of production if Freeney's not there? You know, what's Bush? What's his name on the left tackle? Bush Rod. Bush Rod. Yeah, yeah that's Bush League. <laughs> the way he plays the left tackle position, they're going to be able to bring a lot of pressure. And don't forget, Mathis is a great pass rusher. So they're going to have to slide guys over. When you're sliding guys over to Mathis, that gives the other guys one-on-one -on -one, uh, matchups. And those one-on-one -on -one matchups are going to be the chances for them to get upfield and get to Drew Brees. Drew Brees is going to have to find a way, you know, just to get outside the pocket a little bit. They know to keep their hands up. They know to put a lot of pressure on them. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Now, the one issue for me in this game is that uh, trying to figure out a way the Saints can win this game, I just don't see a way that their defense is going to be able to either, A, get to Peyton Manning enough to be a factor or to be able to slow down Peyton Manning enough to keep their offense in this game. Is, how am I wrong here? Well, the way you're wrong is that, think about this, Sean Payton has two weeks to prepare for this game. In, in two weeks, he can diagnose and maybe, is, you know, some teams do well in the, in the open drive. They have the, what they call the first 15, their scripted plays. In, in a game like this, he could script out 30 plays almost before they can actually make an adjustment. He can score that quickly. And if he scores almost every time he touches the ball or every time they have a possession, that could be a problem for Peyton Manning and those guys trying to match him, you know, score for score. The first time a team gets a stop, that's going to be the team that's going to be looking at, hey, you know what, we got to stop. Could be, could be great for him. But the problem is, is that, and I hate to keep going back to this for the Saints, they don't play well on the road. And even though this is a neutral site, they're on the road. They're not in the Dome. They're not in New Orleans. There's no Bourbon Street. There'll be crazy fans there, but they don't have this controlled environment. God forbid it rains, if it's windy, if it's anything. All those things factor in for the Saints. Yeah, obviously the Colts also rely on playing on turf as well, but the Bush-led offense, especially with his special plays and special teams, I think is going to be a major factor playing this game on grass and maybe even wet grass at that. Well, you can catch us all season long right here on YesNetwork.com with exclusive content from This Week in Football. We will see you next time.